Southern Arizona Hospital will soon offer trauma services in its emergency center. News 4 Tucson's Aliyah Shahid has more on what it means for the community. It's new at 6. Hello everyone, I've got a 45 year old female. She was a restrained passenger in a single vehicle motor vehicle crash that rolled over. This is just a drill and it's one of many designed to prepare the staff at St. Joseph's Hospital for every possible situation. But we even run drills like we go to the operating room and the elevator's not working. What's the alternative route to get them to the operating room? I mean, every possible drill you can imagine, we've run it. The hospital is getting ready to offer trauma capable services to its patients. Um, it provides a place that's close that provides care for um, the most severely injured patients, patients who sometimes are clinging to life um, after, for example, a bad car accident or being shot or assaulted or even falling, as we quite often see. The move to become trauma capable took more than a year of planning, and it means around the clock coverage from a number of surgical specialists. For patients in the area, if they get severely injured, it means that we have the resources to take care of them and they don't have to go outside of our area to get those resources. Data has shown that the closer you are to a trauma center or a facility capable of providing these um, this level of care, the greater your chance of survival and having a good outcome. The trauma capable services will launch at St. Joseph's Hospital on November 1st. Aliyah Shahid, News for Tucson.